talk. We're going to have a public transportation plan for review and adoption. So, um, are we adopting it to move it forward to um, city council, or do you just need a, a, a vote from us? This is you guys have the jurisdiction to adopt plans for the city. So this is it. I mean, it's going to go to city council for endorsement, but you are the legal authority for any plan changes to the city. Yeah, it's going to go to city council as well, but it'll be an endorsement. I thought we were all just recommend because they have three committees recommending. Not on the plan. Yeah. It was like the sustainability plan. We were the people who had yeah. to vote on the sustainability plan. That was us. Because so it it, isn't it all somehow related to the master plan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the city, were you on the city council? Yeah, any sub area plans. Plan? You guys um, didn't vote on that. I don't think you ever even voted on it. I think I was. Yeah, I don't think you ever went to you guys. For, maybe you had a hearing to hear it. Well, we endorsed. You endorsed, yeah. yeah. But you, I don't think the city council even took a vote. So. Um, are you doing the presentation, or? Um, I could, but Devin yeah. was intimately involved. Talk about uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, if you don't, I have a couple extra copies if anybody wants a paper copy. Um, so the plan was originally brought to the Transportation and Parking Commission by one of the members of that commission that has been nominated by the mayor to sit on the public transit commission, you know, working with PPPA. So uh, Leslie Stein uh, presented it to that committee and uh, that uh, the Transportation Parking Commission voted to, uh, and at that point, as I understood it, they voted to recommend it to the city council for adoption. And uh, then there was some discussion about whether that needed to go through exactly the same process as the municipal transportation plan. So this is the public transit plan. It is a companion to the municipal transportation plan. And both of them as city elements fit under uh, regional plans done by Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. So um, the Public Works Commission also voted to uh, forward it to the city council with the recommendation to adopt it. So we would be the third committee doing that. Um, although as I understand it now, we can actually vote to adopt it. Um, I would <coughs> urge us to do that. Um, I've, I've read it and been following it. It had some minor changes to it. Um, basically, the plan breaks down into uh, two pieces. One is a goal to increase service on the existing eight uh, PDTA routes that run through town. And increased service to them would either be increased ridership by increasing the, you know, uh, ability to get to the bus stops or have more flag stops. But basically, those routes would just—they're looking to grow those routes. But the second piece of it is to uh, add service, and uh, that's their second goal. And first on that list is adding transit service to the survival center and the YMCA, and that's the piece I'd like to speak to. Um, um, I'd like to take the opportunity to communicate a strong message to PBTA that the Survival Center clients need their service. Uh, the Pioneer Valley Regional Transportation Improvement Program shows $4 million next year for a PBTA bus rolling stop, which would be new buses, along with substantial carryover funds for minibuses, hybrid buses, and vans. Um, so I, I'd like to urge PBTA to earmark some of those anticipated resources for service to the survival center in the YMCA. And by way of underscoring that need, uh, this past Monday, the center served 67 families and distributed 3,790 pounds of food in one day. And that food and that weight of food goes out of there, sometimes on bicycles, sometimes into cars, sometimes on foot, but it doesn't go by bus, and it should. There was uh, interest because when they're in that temporary location, the old uh, car dealership, it was, was great. It, yeah. it was storm related. Uh, I, that's an unusual day for them, but it, this is headed into a season when they do actually uh, get out more food. Yeah. But I just think it's a it's a missed opportunity for a population. And and Leslie, who I, I sit with on the Transportation and Parking Commission, has made the point that it's not ideal to carry groceries on the bus. That that can be problematic. And some of the bus drivers actually don't like to do five stops for people holding a whole lot of bags. 
my feeling on that is that's beside the point. Those are the very people that need it, and if you, you know, so you take more family members with you, and you can get your food home. But I, I just never been to New York. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So I, or anywhere else? Yeah. Right, right. yeah I, I, I view this as an opportunity to make a plug for that. I How responsible is the PVP? PVTA. PVTA, sorry. Well, I was happy to see it in. I mean, they. Uh, I, I'm digging up these resource numbers out of regional planning documents. They, the plan is optimistic, but I mean, until someone says you've got another van or a bus that you can put in service, you know, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be pessimistic. It's in the plan as a goal, and that's the top of the list. But is this just? Is it kind of a theoretical plan? I mean, where is the money going to come from to do all this? Well, um, what I'm looking at. Uh, uh, the Pioneer Valley uh, Regional Transportation Plan is where I'm getting the 2012 numbers from. And those are federal monies and, you know, it's an accumulation. And, and like I said, some of that is carryover money that hadn't been spent already. So there are resources flowing in. I, I don't have visibility to how much or whether they're going to buy extra buses or something. But, I mean, I, I think we ought to be focusing much more on public transit than cars. So this is a chance to make that statement at the city level. I think if you you um, also noted earlier on that um, one of the goals is to modify the language in the zoning ordinance to um, just highlight an emphasis um, in the site plan approval section. So that's on page five um, about making connections. So the board then, if it becomes adopted in zoning, at least it would be front and center in terms of creating connections to existing transit or likely future transit routes, which you already do, but it's not it's not specified in this language. They ask for the same thing in special permit too. Mm -hmm. So I mean it's just we already do that, but I, I think it, it was a recognition that it wasn't a formality in the And sort of going back to the financial piece um, that Catherine raised, um, you know like the plan in terms of um, objectives, it could be much stronger in terms of things that we might pursue to create a financial stream that would actually result in being able to expand routes or expand, um, you know, the number of buses in uh, the system so that you can, it becomes a usable system instead of just for between Smith College and UMass. Because not really usable mm -hmm. in terms of a, it doesn't function like a real transit system. No, it doesn't. I mean, it goes to the VA, it goes to between a couple of colleges and crosses the river to the mass. but I mean, it's, it's a pretty limited system. And as far as the plan goes, it looks like to me that it's not, um, uh, it's not reaching far enough. I mean, I would like to see us begin to start talking about a, a, you know, a central transit facility in town it might be tied to the railroad, it might bring in bus service there. I mean, those kind of things are everybody's sort of thinking about in the back of their mind, but PBTA didn't take a chance to mention any of that in a, in a plan. Do so you guys talk about the transition or where, you know, or what, what that would mean or where it would go or how that would be served? I don't know whose purview it is to talk about that. I, Carolyn could probably answer that better. I mentioned the last meeting that I had heard a briefing at uh, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission about the the train activity funding that has come in through Connecticut is sort of taking the lead on getting that as far north as, as um, New Haven and then on up to West Ranger eventually but New Haven. And um, there's a lot, I mean there's, there's millions of dollars already in the system churning along. They have a snag on the bridge over the river. The Connecticut? So that, that rail bridge is not... The one that the, the, the flight passes on? Mm -hmm. So it's farther north, because I don't think they've reused that bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think maybe that's south. the point. Uh, <coughs> really farther north, though. The Hartford Viaduct Connecticut Bridge yeah. is, um, is the one unfunded piece of it right now. Everything else is funded and, you know, I mean, to the tune of $73 million, you know, 647 million total costs, 471 million have been identified and made available. I mean, so the, there's a lot going on from that south, and they're actually using that as a, a combination of 
Amtrak plus commuter service too, so they're adding stations so that it's more viable for them. We, one of um, uh, Mayor Alex's interests is to move forward and pretty quickly in trying to determine where those stations are. So we're, it's going to be on the your agenda, and certainly our office is looking at the permit location for where multimodal or some connect, some close proximity between bus and train will be. Um, so we're starting to look at sort of these optimal places downtown. I was really surprised to drive through Greenfield the other day and look at how far away they are up there. And it's a major facility. Just waiting for the train? <coughs> no, no, theirs is not a, a there's just a combination of bus service. It's it's in a is goal number three was on for future intermodal transportation travel. That includes a rail as well. So that's right up there. And that's yeah. Rail. I mean that, yeah. side, not on the Cooley Dickinson side, but where the convenience store is. But again, the PBTA, we, we had them build these bus stops, but PBTA doesn't necessarily mean they're going to yeah, stick a bus there. So, um, I think Leslie is a pretty active voice on that committee, so maybe we need to, I mean, I, I don't know if that's the mechanism we all use, but she's, the mayor is appointed delegate to the PBTA. Right. Yeah, because even, you know, and, you know, Linda Manor. You know, we've talked there still. You know, they, they don't have a bus stop up there you know, on either side of the road. Uh, you know, so there's definitely places that, you know, as projects come up, we get them to at least we get them to build the thing, but we can't make the EPA come. Is the bus that goes through, it uh, goes to Williamsburg, go through the Leeds? It does. It goes right yeah. by with the... It does. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't go through the towns, no. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. no it, it goes, goes right up. Right up. Right up. Yeah, but, it, but there's no no sheltered stop. I mean, there's a lot of people working in the manor, a lot of people visit in the manor. And there's no sheltered stop on either side of the road. Mm -hmm. so, it's and it's about to get bigger. So, um, so, so who is in charge of PBTA? <coughs> Are they just by themselves? So, yeah, they need public funding, so but that, um, it's a separate authority. I mean, it's um, like the Port Authority or any other sort of transportation entity. So they're basically off by themselves. They did come to some meeting, somebody from the PBTA, I can't remember when it was, who came it was years ago. Is it crowded or public? Oh, well, it's public. Well, it's public. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like not in like the housing. Yeah. It's separate. Yeah. They're born. They're like NIH or something. Yeah. But, and this is the, the document, the regional document that I got the funding numbers out of for the next few years. So basically, so what? Um, so you all need to hold a public hearing before you officially adopt um, plan. So this acts as your public hearing. It was, you know, advertised as a public hearing. Um, didn't really garner much attention. Well, <laughs> really. Are you are you here to speak to this particular issue? No, I'm just observing. Oh, okay. And. You're observing. <laughs> well, you know, you know, it's funny. It didn't really garner much attention based on the uh, the King Street, you know, um, folks who complained about transportation to the survival center, and you know, mm -hmm. well, and there was a whole group of people that visited the transportation parking commission recently about yeah the lack of sidewalks and services. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we certainly didn't do outreach for the public hearing for this, um, but most of the work has been done by Parking Transportation. So I mean, it, yeah. but the, you all have to hold the official. Yeah, did they, they do it public outreach when they were putting this together? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No. <clears throat> no, it was presented to the commission by Leslie, and I think everybody sort of felt like we are now. It's like, oh, okay, good idea. And I'm sorry, who's Le Leslie? Leslie Stein is the city's. 
uh, delegate to the Public Transit Commission. There is a, it's not PBTA, but it's some sort of they and other entities from their service areas. Um, she was on Sustainable Northampton, too, representing yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. I have one clarification question. On page four, there's this some um, objective number three: use ITS equipment at any bus stops. Use ITS equipment. Yes. What's ITS equipment? I couldn't find um, that anywhere. Intelligent transportation systems, and it would be so that I could pick up my phone and tell me how far away the bus is. Okay. So it, it runs a virtual link to transportation yeah. progress yeah. around. It's pretty common in bigger cities now. Yeah, you see yeah. yeah. And they're they're definitely PBTA is looking to do that. They know they must. No. You know, I still see uh, I was driving uh, on uh, by Sheldon Field. I remember when they redid those parking lots as the commuter spot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised the number of people who were there waiting for the bus. Oh, yeah. That's always that's always that bus. Yeah. Right. That's oh. a fun stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, it's actually good to see. Um, well, any other questions or comments for Devin on this? So we could vote to accept or adopt it adopt as part it. of the overall sustainability plan and as an element of the transportation plan. Right. What's the next thing before? What's the next thing you guys are going to look at? What's the next thing for your committee for the transportation? transportation plan? We feel we're on our 16th traffic call. Um, My wife said there should be traffic calling, calling. Because everyone <laughs> wants traffic calling. They do, and it's um, in some ways a little frustrating because for almost all of those presented cases, even if there's a strong, you know, we go out and do an analysis on speed and traffic and, you know, look at the sort of measurement numbers about it, but in most cases there's very little we can do because to really do traffic calling, you redesign the street. Well, they did the temporary speed bumps in front of Fiker. Um, and yeah, they did them just, spots. just yeah. recently yeah, down on Riverside Drive. Yeah. 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 Every time we put weeks. out the temporaries, we get mixed reviews. If they're right in front of your house, you hate them, and if they're not, you love them. <laughs> it's that simple. Well, I think what they said, too, is every time they kind of do a spree, they'll look at that in terms they of will. That's the time um, to do it. It's sadly not really the best test. Affordable ones are a little coarse. So, you know, I, I always point to the ones over on Jackson Street and say, you know, that's the right kind of bill. It's a really nice one. Yeah. Did they do on Conn Street? Did they? Okay. Yeah. Well, on uh, Conn Street, I don't think. Well, well they just state. redid Conn Street, so I'm wondering if they put speed, speed bumps in there? No, but that's a state project. Yeah. Oh. And uh, we did have some input into, um, you know, curb cuts and, and mm -hmm. pedestrian crossings and things, but it, that was pretty fun. Well, they narrowed the road, too, didn't they? Yeah. So that was one of the reasons that was narrowed. That was slow, yeah. naturally yeah. slow. Yeah. 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 On um, Drake's Street. The the speed bumps there? Yeah, Yeah, they were. They put in temporary ones for some time as an experiment, and now there are permanent ones in there. Where is that? Um, Grove Street. Grove Street. Yeah, Grove Street. Street. Yeah, Grove Grove Street. Street. It's, like, it's like a cut. Yeah. cut through the 60s. Right. Uh, that's what <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> Grace is actually a dead end. Besides being a part of it. Between the snow and the park. When they first put them on drove, they were stealthy. They were actually still painted black, and you couldn't see them. So, yeah. boy, was I surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have been going Never so fast. Never that again. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can go 30 miles an hour still live in the Delphi. All right, so we need a motion to adopt. Or actually, so I think we need a motion to close the public hearing. Wait, I've got a question. So oh, there's a public transportation plan. There's also a municipal transportation. Or should, and should they be, is that confusing? Should they be combined? Well, it's almost the name is confusing. Public transportation is really public transit. So it's, it's, the transit it's really component. the, yeah, okay. it's, the, it's the bus public, bus. you know, as opposed to the municipal transportation plan covers, in, you know, multimodal and, how, many, how to handle my car and your car and all sorts of things. Sidewalks. But one thing that we have succeeded in doing is taking the public transit plan through the same cycle of committees. In other words, we didn't shortcut this one. Right. So we've taken it through all the same committees that the municipal plan went through. 
so that they really do have the same respect. Anybody else? Any other questions? I'm going to close public hearing. <laughs> All in favor? All right. You want to make the motion, then? It's your plan. Sure. Frank is going to second it, though. I move we uh, adopt the public transportation plan as written and, and send it to the city council for their consideration. <laughs> Any further discussion? <laughs> All in favor? All right. Brandy, do you actually vote? Say what? Did you vote? I want to make it unanimous. Thank you. Um, no, thank you. That was good. Um, the minutes. We have one set of minutes to do. And then we have one other thing. We have one other thing. Plus, I want to talk about the. We have this is the only meeting in November. I think we were pretty heavy. Except for next week. It's the special meeting. Oh, I mean, but if, yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, I just want to go over it. So. Uh, I just didn't right mention this for the agenda, but if people want to hear what happened in the CBC meeting last week, I'll be happy to hear it. Okay. So, let's do the minutes first, and we'll do the other stuff. Who? Uh, any comments on the minutes? This Wait, is the minutes a, from the last meeting. Sorry, there's a meeting this week? The 16th yeah. is the one, Wayne, about uh, oh, the zoning changes or cons the map changes or um, the very, like, the institutional uses, the map changes on Con Street, and their neighborhood meetings. So we're going to do one of JFK and one. Um, yeah, it's not a planning board meeting. It's what so Wayne sent us an email about. Mm -hmm. uh, um, <laughs> Go check your info. Yeah, I think Gavin yeah. said she couldn't and make it. I think like one is 5.30, 5 o'clock. Yeah, 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 we're doing a back-to-back. Yeah. Back. Yeah. One yeah. down here, one up there. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, it's my teaching yeah. night, so it's hard for me to get that. All right, let's, all, let's just do the minutes, and so we'll do the other things. Uh, any comments on the minutes? From, well, this is the minutes from the last meeting. I have one comment. In that I'm listed as present, but I didn't come. I was like, came up an hour late because I was recused for that. You got to write the next meeting? Huh? Yeah. To get them to the next meeting? Yeah. Get one meeting later? Yeah. All right. Couldn't actually remember. Get up that. That's right. He's delighted. He's delighted. It's been a long time. All right. Who right. wants to make the motion to approve the motion? Wait, wait. You have seconded by David Blumberg? No, that's supposed to be. Oh, that's my computer. It automatically inserted. Wow. Oh, I thought it was a joint meeting or something. I know, and that, but it, in fact it wasn't. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Any other comments? Good catch. Well, I've got to know how. Other you were supposed to have read it already. <laughs> I did. I just skipped right over it. I said, it must have been a delight. I did. I said, it must have been a joint meeting. Okay. All right, five, four, three, two, one. I move to accept the minutes of October 27th as amended. Second. Uh, all in favor? <laughs> all right, so we have a um, report on CPC. We have, let's talk about the 16th, the meeting on the 16th. Mm -hmm. and then street acceptance. Street acceptance, and let's talk about the first meeting in December. The 16th. Okay. So let's do street acceptance first. Yeah. So Mass Development has submitted mm -hmm. for street acceptance, oh, maybe a year and a half ago. On, um, and I have um, copies of this, so I'll send it down. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to point out these. I need to share in here. What happens if we just say no? <laughs> what are we accepting? Well, it's a street um, grid at, at, um, at State Hospital. So, um, a little while ago, Village Hill, all the way to its current terminus at the um, Hammerhead, was accepted. And they put in for a request for street acceptance for this Olander section, plus the cross, uh, this is Mosier, and then the Sante up to this point is what they're requesting in this latest round. So that was their second subdivision up there. And then the third subdivision, which is built, but they haven't submitted street acceptance request yet, is around this, the loop, the bungalow loop. So that's not on the table right now. Um, <clears throat> so... The, the October 29th storm, the 30th storm, really took them by surprise. They certainly wanted to get street acceptance done before the snow fell. Uh -huh. um, so there, this is it has this 
the status is well, any request for street acceptance is done is approved ultimately by city council, but it first gets a recommendation from Board of Public Works and then Planning Board before it goes back to city council. Um, there were some little um, minor, well, m minor in terms of the adjustments that Mass Development had to make on the um, on the plans, the as built they submitted, but major in terms of the technical information the city needs to have for a street. And they just finally got plans to DPW Tuesday, but the request went to Board of Public Works last night, Wednesday, and Board of Public Works did vote to. Um, recommend approval of acceptance of the streets, provided that everything that they submitted Tuesday meets the standards. Um, <coughs> there are three, from the planning board's perspective, um, up until the snowstorm, there were three trees that did not get replanted, and I have um, a map of the section of Musanti here. There are these three trees that need to be replaced. They replaced a bunch of other trees that we did a walkthrough and um, they were going to replace. They couldn't get to these three. They're asking for street acceptance and what we, we should do is if City Council wants to accept it is contingent upon them coming back in the spring and planting it. They need to then would need to get permission from the to the city right of way because at that point it would be owned by the city to plant those trees. Yeah. Do you, is there a process to, to have them set aside your mark to, to withhold funds for that? Or is there any well, the, the interesting thing is Mass Development already has this huge bond out there for development of the streets. So we do have money. We do have hooks. They're going to come in for Fort Crossing in a, probably January 1st. So they're still moving the forward. Bubbles. They're still... No, no, no. The next street segment, which will connect the bungalow. Oh, the top. Yeah, the top of that well. street. Um, so we still have that, which is unlike other subdivisions. I don't think in other situations we would accept a street without the trees being completely in. But I, but I want to add to that, since the storm um, last week, some other trees have been damaged to the point they probably need to be replaced. So instead of having the city on the hook to replace the trees, which will never happen because of all the other trees that got damaged, my recommendation to the board would be they have to plant these trees they've noted on the plans, plus any of the ones that were damaged from the snowstorm. So is the, re the rush because of, there might be more snow? Well, there will be more snow this winter. <laughs> and they don't want to plow the what? streets. <laughs> okay. no. They don't want to plow. So once they don't have, yeah. once it's not their street, then Deep Debbie's going to be gone. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this section right here uh -huh. is identified with five lots that are not filled, and that's a piece of the street they're wanting. They are now filled. The, this this is photo this is, is old. Yeah. a year old. Okay. Yeah, this is a way way old. Old. Yeah, yeah, that are not so One of them wins. Yeah. <laughs> and Jonathan. And, and Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. 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 Um, didn't I hear uh, <coughs> the realtors, the Goggins was moving there as well? Now he's moving. Now he's moving. He's, he's gone with you, right? Yeah. 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 It's a nicer neighborhood. Yeah. Um, so that, to what, what this means to the city is we take over plowing and maintenance of these roads. Right. right. They become public ways, because yep. right now they're still technically private, right? Private, right. Um, and then, um, the, do you guys, will you have to go out with them to identify which trees you're going to damage enough to be replaced? Who's going to make that determination? I would have to do that. Based on, I mean, I went out with them before the storm and we flagged all the trees they had okay. to replace. Now, I, ha I haven't been out. Right, because if we if we move to approve this, we're going to approve it without knowing. You guys are still going to have to decide. Right. What you could say is you could rec recommend that city council they approve it, subject to a replacement of these trees they're you about, plus any trees that the city deems necessary to be replaced. Yeah, I want to make sure that there's some, yeah. something that we don't get in this endless argument of, you right. know, you said this tree and we said that tree. Right. Um, right, so I'm wrong word. Um, anything else we should be aware of that, uh, I mean, <coughs> Does the city have the money to plow these streets? That's kind of where I was going with my question about fill the lot. So the, the, the premise here is you create taxable lots and that creates income to the city and therefore then the city has the resources to extend itself to do more services. Is that, is that about right? Well, um, yeah, I think in the big theoretical world. I but. think 
but, but no, I mean, you I know, should this, say. I was going to say, this particular one has been on the, in the planning. I mean, we've known this one. There's bigger issues around private streets that we plow anyway right. and for reasons that are probably necessary access to. Well, and I think the overall, in, in, for Village Hill, it was always yeah. anticipated this was going to be a public street network. This yeah. was the next big project. Now, if we're talking about the ridge way out in West Ham, you know, at the West Hampton line, that's a different, that, and, and, right. and, and DPW as an office has consistently um, recommended to the BPW not to accept streets, and, you know, in the subdiv subdivisions out further. It hasn't always, I mean, city council has typically um, gone against that recommendation, but DPW has always said straight up when someone comes in for subdivision, we're going to recommend we're not going to accept the street. And so it sort of puts the owner, the applicant on notice that, you know, it's not necessarily going to be a slam dunk. City Council has pretty much um, accepted most of the recent streets, Ice Pond and Cardinal Way and um, Delaware. Well, uh, uh, well, and there's a good reason for that. I mean, people think back to, and right. there's no reason to be petty and refuse to plow the street. Well, and these streets were, as Marilyn said, we all knew this was going to happen. This isn't a surprise. Right. Yeah. 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 right. And these were well built streets. They were built to the specs. They're wide. Was, and this was a division, the subdivision that we've had. The city itself had invested tons of time and energy. And so, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't not accept it because of the money, but it, it you know, it's. Hopefully, there's going to be a lot more houses there soon that we're going to get a lot more money for. Well, you also get more bang for your bunk in terms of plowing because oh, it's slightly more dense so when it does build out you're you're accommodating many you're, you're plowing for many more right. residents than you would be out public streets up there so the right. services right. are next door so yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Um, <coughs> any other issues besides the streets then? From the planning work? board's perspective that was um, my uh, from the staff perspective, the tree plantings were the only issues that I was holding out for, and all the rest of the stuff has really been technical stuff, where the bounds are located, mm -hmm. you know, where where the radius are correct or not correct, and DPW is correct. And they've already voted. They voted contingent upon the plans being what they right. yeah. Right. Any other questions on this one? Concerns? So I think the wording that Carolyn said for the the um, condition was that the city deems to need to be replaced, right. not yeah, that the, as identified the ones that we've already identified and ones that subsequent we identified based on the storm of October 30th. And we think, do you think in January we're going to get the next piece for this road? So I think there was one point where we talked about it in December. Right, we pushed them off, and they said, "Why are they doing it piece by piece like that?" And that's how they operate. Uh, I don't know. We'd love them to not to do it. <laughs> um, anybody want to make a motion on this? So this is a motion to recommend to city council, or a motion to word. No, recommend to city council okay. that they accept that the they streets. Do. I I move that we recommend to city council that they accept this plan with the conditions that Carolyn. Articulated with regard to the trees. Is there a second? Second. Wow. Any other discussion? All in favor, I want to see you vote this time. Thank you. All right. Wait, who was the second? Um, Mark. Um, Mark Bloomberg. <laughs> That's right, Mark Bloomberg. Um, so is it the 16th or it's the 15th? 16th. 16th yeah. here. Five o'clock for the first one. And that's at JFK, right? No. Oh, um, it's five o'clock here? Five o'clock is here. And JFK is the, um, I think it's 6.30. So you are, are we going to, you want some people to come to both, or are you, are you guys just picking up at 6 o'clock? Well, we know it's a big time commitment, so our, our hope was that maybe there could be some just split, two, so you wouldn't necessarily go to both. Two. Some members could go to one and others go to another one. I, I have the um, PCP at 7 that night, so I could come to the I think you meant CPA. CPC. 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 Is the PCPC. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Captain, you're telling us something. I know. <laughs> <laughs> share it. 
Um, all right, so so there's a five o'clock at City Hall and a six thirty at JFK. So I can only attend a five o'clock. Right. So I think if we can go to one. Yeah. That's that's yeah. gonna be five. Good repeat. City Hall right here. Or, well. Yeah. This room. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. And, and it's an hour. Hour and a half. I can do the five o'clock. Yeah, we'll bring this down. We all have our stories. We might be short on the 6.30. I'll probably be easier for me to do the 6.30 instead of going to be in Boston on Wednesday. I'll be driving back. So I'll probably do the 6.30. That'd be great. I mean, whatever you guys can do, we know you guys are, schedules are busy, but we're, you know, so we're trying to break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the next, so we, this is the only meeting we have in um, um, November. Right. Um, because of how, uh, Thanksgiving, but our first meeting in December the eighth. is the 8th. Wait, 10th, 8th. Yeah. 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 And that's the big meeting. We're going to have yeah. um, with Kensington. Right. Are they coming back for sure? <laughs> I, you know, I was told that, but now that I think about it, I need to see plans. I haven't seen plans. Ooh. Well, they have, they have two more weeks, right? Mm -hmm. One more week. Well, <laughs> two more weeks if they don't want us to review very well, because there is the holiday. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I need to contact them. Uh, and then we had one other one. Do we have a continuation that night? Something else that was big? Well, there there were two permits that weren't continued, but they didn't they weren't ready for this meeting. So um, it's the, the mobile station, Cumberland Farms up in Florence. Yeah. And have you got the plans for the mobile or for space too? We have the plans, yeah, but they, they need some modification. But they've submitted. Which the one in the industrial park? Um, there's a um, storage facility it's called Spaces for Self Storage. Self storage. And they are adding two buildings, which is amount to somewhere around 14, 15,000 square feet. Um, so that's the daycare center. For Kensington, we've, we've talked about doing the trip. So, are people want to try to do a uh, walk up to Kensington on Sunday? Maybe around noon sure. or earlier? I'm not sure if earlier is better. I won't be around. You won't be around? No. Um, I'm gone this weekend, but I've been up there so many times. So, you've been up there. You've walked. I've never walked it. But oh, I've, I've been walked it three different times. It's not three We did as a group. I can get around going. Kensington? <coughs> well, this is the one off of Glendale. I think we did. I don't yeah. think that was there. We did the one, um, no, I don't think that was there. We did one at, we did one at, um, the Pond Hill. <laughs> <laughs> we did one at, we did one at, we did one at, we did one at, we did one we did one at, 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 we did Oh, later, like two, three. No, I mean like noon or oh. like one. Um, yeah. Let's try noon. Let's, let's try noon. Noon. I'll let you know. All right. So let's say twelve o'clock. We can meet on Glendale Road. It's steak. There's a steak on there. Yeah. And do we have to ask permission to walk through? No, you guys are because they have an application in front of you. The board has the authority to trespass. He's not trespassing. Do you um? Do you want me? Are you? Are you yeah, ready? I'm gonna try. Okay. Yeah. So where is it? Is so we just want to say if we can show up, we'll show up. Or it's right, right next okay. to 123 Glendale Road, or the stakes. There should be You'll see some stakes in the road. Um, not, not in the road, off. I mean, in the woods. There's a 123. <laughs> yeah, there's a small, a narrow wooded section between two houses, and one of the houses is 123 Glendale. Okay. And and so in the woods near the road, there's an orange flag stake. If you get to the entrance of the, the landfill, you've gone too far. <laughs> oh, okay. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, you just you back up. You just back up. And you'll probably see one of us, you know, pulling in at some point. <coughs> oh, this is on the 13th. Uh, Sunday the 13th? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I imagine you should be wearing waterproof shoes. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's, it's pretty boggy from what I understand back there. Boots. So, um, Boots. Uh, all right, uh, Captain CPC, where did it go last week? Yeah, I just wanted to give everybody a little update that we did not make any decisions last week. Um, 
It's it just too complicated. What we're really trying to figure out is um, bonding, because we don't have a lot of money to give away this round, but we're going to save some money to give away next round. Of course, we're thrilled that it passed, the CPA vote passed in a real mandate. Uh, Flying colors. It was fabulous. Yeah. And we have two, we will have two new members, but they won't join, the voted, the elected members, they won't join until January. And so the present board will be deciding this night, the 16th, um, among the various, uh, the six applications, and we just have to figure it all out. But I just want to let you know that we didn't decide last month. Did you guys actually break up the break department in two, or is it still no. one big one? No, uh, I mean, the, the, converse, the way the conversation went um, was um, that we probably won't fund that piece of it, the playground. But maybe, you know, they'll have to do some fundraising or they'll have to come back another time. Uh, but really asking them to do some of their own fundraising for it. And um, probably not going to be anyway near be able to bond the whole thing. So. Well. Uh, this is uh, uh, so to me the big surprise was a four hundred thousand dollar playground. Four hundred thousand dollar playground. I built it for free. With a hundred thousand dollar pavilion, Mark. Yeah, yeah Mark. <laughs> I want to see a bid on this. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. the interesting thing was in the application. Uh, Anne Marie yeah, came in with all these pictures of different kinds of playground, concession, bathroom units, and some of them cost four hundred thousand, and some of them cost a hundred. And, you know, it's like we, she says, well, we haven't decided yet. So their budget is very, very uh, vague and fuzzy. So uh, that, I don't think that's going to be part of it. That well, because I, I, I know, Mark, you've done it, I've done it. I'm not sure if anybody else here has been on the Capital uh, Improvements Committee. Marilyn, did you ever sit on that? Uh, no. So I went to it. Oh, you did? Okay. Because yeah. it's staffed by, there's but a couple city councils around. Yeah. Capital Improvements are every city department once a year comes yeah. to and asked for money for big ticket items, fire trucks, roofs, buildings, right. everything. The rec department, without the CPA, would have had to go to the capital improvements. And the rec department walked into capital improvements, which is staffed by city councilors, members of the public, planning board, planning staff, and they said, oh, we don't know we what don't it's going to cost, yeah. and but we want you to fund it. They would have gotten moved so far down the list right. that it, it, it wouldn't have gone anywhere. It would, in fact, I think they probably would have been too embarrassed to actually bring that to that committee because they would have just been told, you know, no. So, um, well, that's, that's the way that <coughs> is going. Good. Yeah. So, do all the board slots come up for reappointment in January along with the new, um, the voted elected members starting? Uh, the, well, they're, yeah, Dave and the, the they yeah, start. Yeah, but I mean, all the board, you know, the people who the are record, serving in the record mm -hmm. for. Yeah, right. they deserve right. a point in January. I don't know if they appoint in January. It would I mean, seem odd that you wouldn't stagger things for coming. Well, like, do you mean like March? Well, like, do you mean like March? Yeah, we always yeah. do March. Yeah, because the rec department gets one, the housing department gets one. When did they appoint their own? Oh, but Jen's talking about sort of the, your subcommittee roles. Right, right, right. Oh, oh As yeah. As to. Because you're on until you get replaced. <laughs> Don't try to walk out. <laughs> yeah, the um, city council president assigned city councilors to those. In January. In January, February, actually. Yeah. Oh, not that, that's not the first thing on the, the first meeting. Oh, so that's what the first meeting is when they elect their president. The president. They'll probably do oh, a second okay. meeting though, because they really don't. Don't you think? And then well, sometimes it takes time to finesse it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I just wanted just to follow up on the reporting to the planning board. Um, it would be, I, I think the idea of having a regular time that the CPC reports to the planning board in the one early on and when we're beginning, we've got the applications and I think that's a good idea. But I would also like other liaisons on other, to other boards it would be, you know, if we could have some sort of regular, like I don't know what anybody else is doing on there. We should. I hug the trees. I want to know what, what's happening with the trees. You can listen to little kids and dogs I mean, getting run over. Devin has just <laughs> reported on this public transportation, which is great. It's very interesting. Well, some of them, like the one, so Frandy, Mark, and I are on the uh, technical review, which we can't report out of because um, those are, they're going to come to us. Right. Oh, okay. Capital improvements. Oh, explain that to me. Because I've never heard of it. Um, once we know a permit is coming before us, uh -huh. you're not supposed to discuss it. Okay. 
So technical review is people thinking about coming before us. They come to a technical review, which is staffed. Uh, they meet early on a Tuesday morning. The three of us go. The fire planning staff, uh, uh, DPW, members from everybody they'd have to get a permit from if they wanted to move forward. Uh -huh. It gives them a first review. You know, so they, so they know. Of them. Yeah, they, they know if they're doing the right thing, if they're going to run into issues, they can get identified early. But because they may then come before us, we can't talk about it. Anything okay. that we know is going to come before us. As a whole board. I'm really happy to you know that right. you guys get up early some morning and go do that. Right. right. So that we can't report out of that. Capital improvements, you guys are even going to meet. But don't the three of you do other things as well, or is that all your That's the only one I'm on right now. Oh. Brandy, do you do the bike and pet? I do that. Yeah. What do you do, Brandy? I've been I've been doing bike and pet and CAC. You love that early morning bike and pet. I don't mind the early morning thing. In fact, I was glad that you made it earlier. So some, yeah, every every committee is different, but they're only did the. That would be good to hear from. The last one we didn't have a quorum, so it was interesting though for once. They keep sort of canceling the end of the Jen's giving me the tangent sign, so I think what we're going to say is, Jen's giving the T. Um, you asked me to. I know, I did. You, that was right. Um, I think what we should do is, but it's a good idea. No, 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 but no, we're getting distracted. Your point is a good one, and I think we should add to the agenda, or at the end of the meetings, a standing thing. Who's had the meeting? Report Who's, out. Yeah, report out. Let's just, we just add that to the end of the agenda. I think that's a good idea. So uh, That was what the tangent was. Yeah, and mine is maybe the CPC yeah. is maybe yeah. more immediate and relevant. How are you doing applications? But it's still useful. Um, so noon, Glendale Road, 16th, either 5 o'clock or 6.30. Uh, the 8th will be a long meeting, so bring coffee and eat something. Um, for some of you guys, I think Andrew and Devin, this might be a first meeting that you've got. That we're, I, I imagine if, if unless all, one or two of the applicants doesn't show up, or can't, this might be like 11 o'clock. Um, so is anybody not going to be here on the 8th? I think they won't make it. I'm not told, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I shouldn't have said anything. Now that we know it's the living. Yeah, that's right. You said we meet on the 22nd, then? In December. Oh, yes. We'll meet. Do we have anything? Oh, no. We don't. I think we decided well, not to meet on the 22nd. Just one meeting in one December? One meeting in December. Yeah. Right. And we should have a meeting on the 22nd. Well, from, from uh, I'm like Ebenezer. Yeah. 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 Do we think that January will be regular? Thursday's the 12th or the 20th. Yeah, yeah. I moved it. We used it. I said. I got it. You did talk about it. I'll be there. 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 I'll